Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about a serious topic. It is a little negative, so if you don't want to have something negative in your life, then don't listen to the rest of this rant. I love Misty Rainforest. I love all of these cards. I love the fact that they are in foil and they look great and their art is fantastic, but I do not love the fact that most people are not going to be able to enjoy this, this card. Misty Rainforest, I know a lot of people are saying pre-order price, pre-order price. It is so unlikely that a, a dude having an eBay store not named Channel Fireball or Star City Games is going to pull enough of these to guarantee the multiple copies of this he's putting on eBay in pre-order. You would have to pull open so many booster packs to guarantee this one on release date. And what type of uh, store would be have that many booster packs to open to guarantee this particular remember it's one out of 25 and even if you pull 25 of this it's not guaranteed that one of them will be misty rainforest now i think the biggest problem here is you have the haves and the have nots and that's going to be very apparent from these new cards and some of them are actually in standard assuming that the five of them are the tango lands as people call them so you have people who have money and who will buy these cards and you will have to buy them. The idea that you can trade for these cards is kind of strange to me because what are you trading for the card? Are you trading Underground Seas? Are you trading Foil Snaps? And you have to trade multiple Foil Snap Castle Mages to get this particular fetch land. What are you doing? Like, you know, like at the end of the day, if you're trading Undergrounds and Foil Snaps, then you're trading cash. That's cash because those are very liquid cards and the person's not going to trade for anything less than that, in my opinion, if they know the game. Now, if a new player pulls this card, you're going to look at a very, very bad experience for that new player when you have every single shark in the store descending at the same time. Maybe they call another shark friend and they give them like, hey, do you want a place of Siege Rhinos? Siege Rhino. Take it, take it. That's also very bad. Now, the reason I have a problem with this card, and first of all, let me say this. I will probably buy this card. So I'm a hypocrite, but I'm going to go ahead and say it, is most people will not be able to enjoy this card. Most people will not be able to play the card. Most people will not be able to even see this card in person. Only the extremely wealthy, uh, magic, wealthy in Magic the Gathering will have the opportunity to touch this card. And I feel that's very sad. Um, in my opinion, that's not what Magic is about. That's not what Magic should be about. But MTG Line, don't you have a nice collection? You know, why don't you donate your collection? Donate your collection to us. <laughs> you, that's not the problem. The problem is, I'm afraid Wizard of the Coast is going to realize very fast they can print money by doing this. And the next set apparently has 20 of these as well. And they can sell fat packs, they can sell booster boxes, booster cases, whatever you want. And that is a problem. And why is that a problem? Because you have, you're have you making a difference between the haves and the have-nots. The people who can throw down at least 1k for a playset of these. And the people who cannot. Now, like a foil Russian Jace, that's okay, whatever. Like, you know, that's in-your-face kind of card. But this card... A land of all things that you could put, like as a foil mythic. A land, a full art land with the only art being on this card. That's icky to me, and I don't think it's a good. I don't know what the plan is, and I can't predict if this is going to go well or not. Um, I will obviously buy this card. Um, I've said that already, but. The fact that a lot of players cannot buy this card or use the card if they really, really want this card. So many players want the card, but very few people will be able to play it. And it's not because they're worse Magic players than me. I'm a terrible Magic player. I play casual mostly. It's mainly because I can afford this card in my stage of life. So if you're in college or you're in high school or you're in you know, middle school... It is so unlikely you can buy this card um, if you don't have, you know, a job that pays extremely well. It's unlikely you can afford this card, and especially a playset of them. 
So I don't like it. It's a big uh, red flag to me where Wizards of Coast is separating people uh, based on income. And you might say that's true for any hobby. I, I grant you that, but you can minimize it somehow. And I, I don't like it. I think it's a bad move. And I think at the end of the day, they will regret um, not making this more available for the casual player as well as for you know the beginning player for the players who would enjoy this in my opinion the most yeah no you don't have to buy it but still i i don't like it where this is heading